going to show you how to make New York bagels today. First thing I do is I heat up half a cup of water and I heat it to warm and I put in my sugar and my yeast. I'm going to stir it. And then I heated up some more water of the water that I'm going to be using. To melt or to dissolve my salt. I like to put my yeast in a bowl that's glass so I can see if it's going to be growing. Okay, I have six and a half cups of flour, six cups of flour actually, and half a cup of gluten. I like to put my gluten in here because it just makes it more professional. Okay, then I'm going to put it on my mixer. in place and start stirring it up. Okay, so my gluten and flour are mixing up right now. And I'm going to wait about five minutes for my yeast to grow and I'll be right back. Okay, the yeast is ready. As you can see, it's growing. I'm going to pour the salt water into the regular water. So I'm going to start mixing right now. I'm going to join the yeast mixture in with the salt mixture. And I will pour that into the flour mixture. as it's going. I'm going to be kneading this for the next five minutes. Just want to make sure I'm getting all my sugar and salt in there and yeast and water. If it looks a little dry, you can add up to a fourth a cup of water. We'll see how this is going right now. thick to me so I think I'm going to add a little bit more water. Okay, will do. So, as that stirs for the next five minutes, we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to get the bread dough out, the bagel dough. And it looks pretty good. It's been kneading for five minutes. It's a little wet, but that's okay. What I'm going to do now is put it in the refrigerator overnight because I find that if you let the yeast work in the flour, it just is a much better bread dough and it's just more professional tasting and we'll talk to you tomorrow.
Hi, I'm back. And here are my bagels. It rose at least doubled in size. I punched it down a couple times in the refrigerator last night just so it wouldn't get too yeasty tasting. And here's my scale. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them into two and four ounces to make bagels. And then I'm going to let them rise for about an hour, half an hour to an hour. Thank you. After you make the size of balls that you want, there's some two ounces. I have 13 two ounce balls and seven four ounce balls. And you take your dough after you form them all and then you kind of squeeze it and poke your finger, poke your thumbs in it and then kind of stretch it. And let them rest for about 20 minutes and then we're going to boil them in the water right before we put them in the oven. Okay, now it's time to boil the bagels for 30 seconds on each side. I like to put approximately six of them in because it can hold that many. So for 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds are up, so I'm going to turn them over and time another 30 seconds. There we go. And when the 30 seconds is up, then I'm going to put it on the baking sheet, 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And I'm going to be, when I take them out now, I'm going to be putting the toppings on, the things that we like to have. Okay, so I'll put these on that parchment paper. I find that parchment paper is pretty wonderful. And it usually doesn't stick when it's on parchment paper. You need to take them off after they've baked. Okay. So we have six of them here. I have everything but the bagel. This is sesame seeds, sea salt, minced garlic, onion, and sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. So I'm going to sprinkle that on a couple of them, or at least one. And then I have sesame seeds. I'm going to put on one of them. And I'm going to put poppy seeds on another one. And then I really like cinnamon and sugar. So I'm going to sprinkle that on one of them. And the last one is going to have, the last two are going to have jalapeno peppers and cheese. I like to put about three of them on each one. and then put my cheese on top. Okay, I'm going to bake these in my oven for four, on 400 degrees, and it's not quite heated, but we'll come back after I do that, after they're baked. Okay, bagels are done. I'm going to put them on a wire rack to cool.